Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare DLC Part 3. So, somebody told me that eventually there's a mission that you do that you see Bigfoot and you encounter Bigfoot. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of crazy. The, the reason I found out is because I was asking on my Twitter, what the fuck is shit? Hey! about to lose my damn horse <sighs> if you saw the last episode you know the, the hell that i went through to get this horse okay somebody told me there's a bigfoot mission that we have to do in order to continue the story i don't know if that's necessarily true but i do know because i just found out that in order to continue the story you have to finish all the survivor missions and i pretty much confirmed that multiple research multiple people subscribers told me so right now we have two more survivor missions. If we go to the map, we have one right here at Plain View or Palm Plop Plop. And then we have another one over at Taw Trees, the birth of the conservation movement. We're gonna do both of these and then I think we should get another main mission pop up for us. Now we have a town here that needs rescuing. I don't think I've done this one yet. So I'm gonna go on my little flaming horse and I'm just gonna burn all these demons. Burn them as they shall. The town is under attack. Okay, not a big deal. Let's see what we got here. Bam, bam. Thank you, Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let go of my horse. I'm gonna let my horse be free. That way I can kill these demons. <laughs> I just slapped the shit out of that zombie. Uh, but yeah, I, I wanted to say I've been having lots of fun with this DLC. It just feels very uh, just chilled out. Like, it's not serious at all. Although it, you might think it is because there's zombies attacking the environment with Red Dead Redemption. But honestly, it just feels very arcadey in the sense that it's one of those vibes where you just like just lay back, kill zombies, and have fun, you know? That's what I've... Uh, even though these zombies are actually getting on my last fucking nerve right now. You know what? It's blunderbuss time. Why do I get the blunderbuss for if I'm not even gonna use it? Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Holy freaking shh! Holy hell, that was awesome. <laughs> you like that, you stupid old zombie? Right, we got zombie hookers on the loose. Be careful. Get them in the dome where it hurts. We've got only a couple more. I really hope that I, when I when I let go of my horse, he leaves on his own. Because honestly, if I go and call my horse and he doesn't come to me because he's dead, I'm going to be real pissed off. Ow. Now, I heard the horse is really hard to kill. Um, It's almost like invincible in a way meaning it does take a long time for you to die unless you kill it on purpose or so i've read on that i don't know but anyhow is that my horse hold on dude i gotta check on this thing okay, he's good to go Whew. gotta be careful man you just never know now, let's head over to... I think there's a survivor mission somewhere here. This guy right here. Before I head to him... Let me see who he's dead here. That's a zombie. Look, he hogtied a zombie. That's what I did on the last episode, too. <laughs> Who's this fucking lunatic? <laughs> you okay, mister? Oh! Is he a director Mr. or something? Boston. Producer? Well, I might have guessed you wouldn't have got the lurgy yet. Not yet. I'm trying to help my family. Yes. Quite the hobby of yours, that. Sure. Listen. Any idea what the hell's going on here? No. But it's brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. Just <laughs> hit. It'll make a fantastic movie. 
Who would enjoy that? What? What kind of sick person would like that? My kind sir. The lowest common denominator. My people. You're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir. You misunderstand me. Come now, you're a smart fellow. Allow me to illuminate. Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. <laughs> Each to their own, Mr. Marston. So we got but a hog tie one of them. The time, <clears throat> We're gonna have to hogtie one of those zombies to spit freaking goo out. Or poisonous. Capture a retro from Gap Tooth Ridge and bring it back to McKenna. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gap Tooth Ridge. Alright, we're gonna have to head this way. Thankfully, I got a horse that does not get tired. Um, for those of you that missed the last episode, my new horse, my uh, war horse, does not get tired, so I can kick him. Tap A for as long as I want, and his stamina does not go down, meaning he cannot flip me on my back. So I guess I can get to Gap Tooth Ridge relatively easily. And um, hopefully we can find this, <clears throat> this damn zombie. I've seen a couple of them, but I never really thought that we'd have to hogtie one of them. <clears throat> and so far, these missions have been relatively easy. Like these survivor missions. They've honestly just been missions where you do it more or less where the where the character is at. Like Bonnie. You literally have to go across the street. Let's go. But this guy is actually making me go all the way to Gap Tooth Ridge. And find him a damn spitting zombie. God darn it, dude. Come here. Come here, you stupid zombie. I'm gonna hog tie the zombie up. Oh no. Okay, now. Now. I've got that zombie hog tight there. I will kill all the rest. Perfect. Okay, I still got that one tied up right there. Nice. Carry the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my stinking horse? I've got this acid spitting zombie on me. Was well, not very easy to get. Okay, put the victim on the horse. This is not a victim. It's the damn fucking. All right, ride the horse. Now we take it to. I think now we gotta go to the map and take it back to this damn freak. Alright. Return to the graveyard. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna return the zombie to the producer. What type of movie he comes up with. Some weird shit, man, I'm telling you. Red Dead, Undead Nightmare DLC is weird as hell. has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Wonderful! Let's put the star into his first scene. Right over here. You can put him down here. Oh, oh, oh. He's in peace, everyone. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. 
movie making history, my friend. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Good jam. There you go, my man. Out. There we are. They're gonna eat this guy alive. Man. Ready, ready, ready. I see you. You're going to be stars. Do something interesting now. Ah! And action! Zombies, go! Oh, your hands are eat human flesh. First and last, right? That's my first. Ha <laughs> Why did I know that was coming? Oh god. Well, now nah, he's gonna turn into a zombie. The dawn, I think that's enough. Huh? Dear Johnny boy, you criminal, you disgusting beast. This guy probably has some money on him. No, undead ribs. That'll do. I think we're relatively close. Holy shit. Oh, that's a zombie bear. Please don't tell me you're coming for me. Oh, yes, you're coming for me. Dead bear teeth. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with that. I guess you could use it for the blunderbuss, maybe. Bear claws, bear hearts, everything. What's going on here? I got one, Mister. Hey, I got one. Got what, Mister? The damn Sasquatch. The filthy thing was gonna eat my dog when this girl hollered out, and I shot the thing right through the heart. Boom! I get. You feeling all right, Mister? I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but. No Sasquatch running around here, nor no place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that <laughs> virus. <laughs> Down in Manzanita Post, they ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Kill them. Kill the bastards before they kill all of us. Kill them. Kill them. I ain't afraid of you, you dumb hairy bastards! I guess we are gonna meet Sasquatch. Oh my god. Kill Sasquatches in tall trees. What? Where even are they? Do you even find a Sasquatch? How the hell did you find a Sasquatch? Oh. <gasps> Tells me where I gotta go. Thank God. It's gonna be like super miserable having to find that shit. Let's go. Alright. I'm gonna head over there. I'm gonna find this damn Sasquatch. And I think I might actually go on foot once I get a little bit closer. Alright, hold on. Gotta be around here, right? Yeah. We've gotta be very careful. We gotta do this by ourselves. Solo, dolo. No horse. Or anything. Shh. Eee, little sass. Eee, little sass. Squatch. Sasquatch. Sasquatch, squatch, squatch. Bro, is this legit? Oh! No!
What the hell? Are you kidding me? It's legit. <laughs> it's legit. Oh, we can't scan them or anything? Damn it. All right. So does it show me other spots over here? Nah, fuck off. Uh, he's over there. <laughs> Fucking Sasquatch. Another one over here. Sasquatch. Yeah. See one more. That's crazy, bro. I wonder if that should really exist, man. Where is this next Sasquatch? There he is. Sasquatches and tall trees. See another one over there. Okay. Good. Oh, now we got a question mark on the map, which means there might be. Oh, that's weird. Really? This is like out of the map. Can you even go there? Not that far. What the hell is this? What is he sitting down? What the hell is that? creature of the night you'd be granting me peace why is that keep you from eating more babies what in the name of all the traits are you talking about human you eat babies you have to to survive everyone knows that ain't your fault we eat berries and mushrooms you fool <laughs> but we did now none of us are left some Maniacs been murdering us. The last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. What the hell? My family is gone. My kind is gone. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. Kill him. Look out, mister. If you want now, me. the fun starts. I don't know if I should kill him. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, do we kill him? I think he wants us to kill him. pretty difficult to do I 
All right, guys. So it looks like we finally have the mission available. <laughs> wow. That was a hassle. Thankfully, it's a beautiful day outside, and we've got uh, just a handful of missions left. So we might have, like, two more episodes of the Undead Nightmare DLC. I'm going to do this mission and see how long it is. I think today was a really crazy day indeed. Those uh, survivor missions were actually not half bad, including that Sasquatch one. I don't know if, that's, if that should even be considered a survivor mission. That was a full-fledged crazy mission. All right. Dickens is over here. Or should be over here. American imperialism. Ah, Mr. Marston. <laughs> What's going on? You got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. Uh, but for you, maybe. Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Samuel. What are you talking about? Uh, well, uh, the border is indeed closed. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Uh, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, well, that's a matter of age, dear boy. The army don't have many recruits with quite my level of experience. <laughs> so... So, you are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. <laughs> okay. And what about you? Ah! Baghdad, dear boy! <laughs> well, either that, or Fort Mercer, or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy. <laughs> what a guy. Sat down to stand back right up. Go to the desert's camp. Or is that not too far? Alright. That's scratching on. post. I will get there with my war horse and a jiffy. Not a problem at all. Are we really gonna go around in a circle? We could have just gone straight. Let's go! Game always makes you follow the roads, like Man, why oh, we gotta be so damn perfect? Look at this, I literally just went in a circle. Right, I'm gonna cut through here. <clears throat> There's no need to do all that madness. Seriously. automatic pistol 
<laughs> oh, shit. Christ, that was close. I actually do not have that much ammo left. I will take these two one one two out. Thank you. Oh god. Oh, fuck off. You claw at my back. Alright, we'll need some uh undead ribs. Oh, wasn't the blunderbuss like don't you get ammo from it by getting body parts from the zombies? What the hell? Thank you guys. I appreciate the generosity. <laughs> I will not die here, my friends. Nice. Kill the remaining undead. I could have just stole this, but honestly, it's not even that hard to help them out. Got that one. Thank you. Got one more zombie, guys. Right down here. We don't want any more surprises. I miss the fresh corpses. Alright, meet with the deserter. Thanks for helping out. They came out of nowhere. Anytime, partner. Say, you fellas have a spare uniform? What the hell for? My family's in trouble and I need to get over the border. I hear there's an army train going that way. Sure, what do I care anymore? <laughs> you earned it. There should be one in the chest by the tent. Help yourself. Oh, well, thank God I helped them out. I, I, I feel like robbing it would have been a lot worse. Probably would have sent an entire army after my ass. Who knows? Oh, Thanks. shit. I feel like <laughs> such a noble patriot. Go to the train station at Benedict Point. Where is that at? Not that far. Come on. All right, we're gonna head Best over there. Best of luck to you. Stay safe. All right, shouldn't be too far, honestly. Let's see what this is Let's all go. about. The train at Benedict, 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 Benedict Point. I'm gonna cut. I am not gonna follow the GPS. I'm sorry. It is pointless and a waste of time. Time that I do not have. Me and my war horse. We'll get yeah. there. On time. Here we go. Oh my god. Hold him out the perimeter. Help! Get the back side. Get the back. Get back. Come on. Get the back. Conserve your ammo. You gotta be the dumbest zombies I've ever seen in my life. Clear the station. Like that, boys? You need a real cowboy to help you boys out? Okay. Oh, there's ammunition on the on the train. Back 
You did real good, soldier. Basic training was very thorough. Well, that's good. These degenerates are only good at horn and drinking. Let's roll out! I guess we're gonna probably have to cover this whole train, huh? Interesting. Oh shit! Me and my squad. These mongrels are everywhere. This train headed for Mexico. God willing. What's the army going there for? Officially, to help our Latin brethren in their time of need. Unofficially, to get the hell out of here before things get even worse. See what we can steal down there. Always one step ahead, ain't we? Got him. Reload! Here come more of them! You know, we're gonna have to go over there to get ammunition, honestly, so... It's kind of pointless to be here. Holy fuck! Oof. I mean, do I have to kill him? I don't. I, I barely have ammo, and it looks like this is really not giving me anything. Oh God! You know what? I'm gonna conserve my ammunition. And let you boys do the dirty work. The only ones that seem like a threat to me are the ones that spit out the bombing. See? They're the only ones hitting me. Oh, fucking hell. You clowns, get down and get the debris off the track. Let's go, let's go. Come on, soldier, move, move. Something's gonna happen here. All right, make Uncle Sam proud, soldiers. Come on. Clear the tracks quickly. Let's go. That seems a little bit too set up. Come on, we ain't got all day. Quick, quick, quick. I just want to say if this is a dream, this is the longest fucking dream I've ever seen in my life. Like if this is all John Mars is dreaming, like <laughs> fight, fight, fight! Uh, 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 Get back here and fight! What are you, y'all? Here come more! Kill the undead. Turn around away from that. Not a problem. Yeah, bro, I need ammo, dude. I still see some. Don't leave any survivors. Search the corpse. What the hell are you running? Oh, God. Come on, now. <laughs> they fucking left me. They left me here. I'm going to go on top of the train. I think I'm going to take the train for myself, then. Is that what happens? Let me see if I can get this ammo here. There's a lot of them. Revolver ammo. Alright, good. I think they're all dead. Thank you. You stinking zombies. Make Uncle Sam proud, he said. And then he just dips on me. I sure hope you're really dead, lady. You claw at my back, I'll claw at yours. Uh, 
Okay. Abigail, Jack, things I do for you. Only way I'm getting into Mexico. Well, we're gonna have to ram that shit. Okay. Damn, so they gave me the train off for myself? <laughs> Pretty nice. I like it. Yeah, I should have stayed here, man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Please tell me we're still moving. Cabo to Las Hermanas. Oh, shit. And that's when we make it into Mexico. But well, we are in Mexico. Oh, wow. Oh, well, at least we're here. We've got one revolver bullet left. But we are here. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I guess, I guess it's a good thing. Guys, we're going to end the episode here. I would honestly keep going, but I'm going to hit the pool with my son and my daughter and Rebecca. And we're going to have a good old time. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want more Red Dead Undead Nightmare DLC, drop it a like. And uh, hopefully, I will catch you guys on the next one, which I think might be the last episode. But anyways, thanks again. I'll see you later.